testing continues with the Surface Pro 3 and Windows 10. I'm on build uh, 10130 now, which you can also get as an ISO, um, which is a good starting point for tablets because it actually includes a lot of nice the, uh, the a lot of the tablet features in there now. It's just a couple of things I want to show you on this. Um, if you haven't seen Windows 10, you should at least know by now that you've got a tablet mode and a desktop mode. This is the tablet mode. Sliding in from the right brings you notification bar and through that you can switch to desktop mode. So there's the um, start menu that has obviously been talked about a lot. And you can fill with different apps, menu systems and icons as well. Switch to all apps and scroll there. But I'm going to go back to tablet mode. I just want to show you a couple of things. Um, well, the all apps menu is now gone. You can't go to the menu on the top left, um, which then brings you into um, yeah, a similar start menu to the start menu you get on desktop. Actually, from there, you have to go to all apps. So you get this funny situation now. If you're in um, this want to start a new app and it's not on the start screen you've already clicked down there you've got to click up here and you have to click back down there and you've got to find the app and you've got to start it the left swipe in now shows you an overview of the running apps and you can select the thing that i was missing from testing uh, was the ability to side-by-side -side apps as you might have seen on the iOS 9 presentation at WD, WWDC a few days ago. Well, it's still there, but it's pretty difficult to find it. What you do now is when you close it and then you just move it to the side and it gives you space to push in another app and you can still move. Now, obviously, it depends on screen sizes as to how uh, the split works with larger screens. I can see a bug there actually. Uh, larger screen sizes, three columns in there, depending on whether the app supports it as well. Um, there's the Edge browser, and once again, switching between apps is fairly good. You can't um, bring in all the apps as a list down here. Up here. So really the the awkward thing at the moment is this fact that the hamburger menu is up there. If you haven't populated menu system here or here, you're going to all apps and trying to find the app uh, there. Naturally, um, get the app started uh, just by typing and that's probably the way most people are doing it. They'll just hit the Windows button on their keyboard and they'll just start uh, typing to get to the app. So there we go. Easy. Right, well, that's just a, a brief, a brief look at uh, windowing on tablet mode on Windows 10. Preview 10.30, there's a, sorry, there's a, uh, that's 10.130. There's a 10.136 floating around, but that's not moving. Uh, there is an ISO around, but it's not actually in any of the rings, as far as I know at the moment. Uh, Windows Hello is not implemented yet, but um, there seems to be most things implemented, and it seems to be pretty stable now. Um, I'm testing further. Uh, with 3G on another tablet, and a few other things as well, just to get a really deep down good feel of how Windows 10 is doing as an as a, as a as an operating system underneath. It seems good. I like the improvements in security, the efficiency, and of course, works well. Then it will be a great option for efficient mobile, um, touch friendly browsing on Windows 10. Universal apps need to be picked up by. Um, uh, this fails. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, Microsoft give it a massive push. Free Surface Pro 3 is for all developers, I say. All right, that's Chippy. That's a quick look at Windows 10. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.